Hello, so I have a really quick demo of our application because it's a really interesting trivial task of the conversing the currency in one rate into another. So we try to make a really new approach. The main idea is when you don't know what in the first place are the, the banknotes. So this is probably Bulgarian left. So you have to And you point at the banknote and it's recognized what's that banknote in the first place and how it converts into the different currencies. So there is a few more tricks like you can add to the equation by tapping on the number or just deleting the, the thing. So in the end you end up with a 60 BGN which are converted right away in BGP or whatever currency you like you can add all the currency from a very huge list and if we we've made it a little bit not that standard because if we now point the app to the British pound which is you're quite familiar with yeah the same trick is working so now you have the 60 levels with the five pounds combined and then convert into the whatever again you like. And this all is working without needing of a Wi-Fi connection or any internet connectivity, but built in the main reason for travelers, which are usually not having the roaming data. This is the, the screen when we are working as the exact every else currency converter. So you have the scan values, again, converted into different currencies. And you have, for example, let's say at five, Pounds and plus six, let's say, and in the end you're back, and you're end with six in this manner. So you, that's our application, which are going to be live really soon. And my question is because it, it's going to be a paid application in the first place. Are we going to position ourselves as a really regular normal currency converter with a great another feature on top of that? So the pricing will be like a really middle to low segment. Or we can separate the currency that we are recognizing, like the Asian pack, for example, if you're traveling to Asia, or if you're going from the USA to Europe, so to have, let's say, the Eastern Europe. So do you think this, this is a valuable way to, to take? Or just make it like a really reasonable price? And when you add more currency that are converted and seen by the camera is just to be to be like a free update of that. Hi, I think you're perhaps looking at the wrong direction for monetization strategies because the thing about the app is broadly speaking it's kind of gimmicky and if you're in a country you're going to fairly quickly learn the value of the money that you're, you're using, right? But it is quite cool to be able to do that and it's just like quite an interesting thing to show people. So why don't you just tie up with some financial provider like HSBC and make that sponsored or badged app for the HSBC traveller and it gives you their local phone number and all of that kind of nonsense. So it doesn't have to be that useful, but just something as a talking point, as a bit of more corporate It depends on the interest, interest of the, the big brands. We've thought about it for sure. And we think that it's still useful, useful because of that, that screen. You can use it as a normal currency converter. Okay. What I always end up with is um, spare currency that no exchange will take back. Why don't you link up with a charity and let people donate that at a particular rate or something? We haven't thought about it, but if I have to answer your question one step further, we are thinking about building a platform in which we are trying to bring more value to the, the numbers. So if you have 10 pounds, let's say, in the, in the Romania, what are you going to be able to buy with that 10 pounds? That will be probably the most useful thing, but when we have the, let's say, the audience, we can think about how to convert it to that platform and just figure out how to build that in the first place. But so um, you, you, once you're in the country, you scan it once. It's easy just to type the country that you're in, but the scanning it. The other thing is, when you, on, below your table, you show the currency, the conversion for five different currencies. It might be more useful. Let's say I, I'm traveling from the UK. I go to Bulgaria. I scan the Bulgarian currency. I find it quite useful to have a lookup table that says one pap, you know, one lev, two lev, five, you know, three lev, four lev. And that, that tells me what it is in pounds, because that's, that's really what I care about. I 
probably don't care about what the lab is in, in the end because you you're know, not in uh, Japan, yeah, yeah, in Japan um, for sure. I like the idea when you come back, you've got all this currency. If you're traveling a lot for work, you get all these notes from different countries. If you can just scan them in and then sell it, send it, print an envelope, like you, you, like you sell your CDs to these companies, that would be useful because I've got currency from God knows where else and most of yeah, them it's... Have, have run out of date probably. But uh, yeah, that would be useful. Thank you very much, Dave. It's really good. Okay, cool. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you very much.